Hello there. Have you ever wondered if you can get DaVinci Resolve running on Linux? Specifically Debian Linux and its derivatives. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how that is possible and how you can get it running. So let's get into it. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to download the DaVinci Resolve zip from the DaVinci Resolve website and make sure that you download the Linux version. As I have already done that and extracted that, I'm going to CD into it. So what we want to do is CD DaVinci Resolve. And in here, we should see two files, a run and the PDF. In this case, we just need the run. Now, you're probably thinking, well, I've already done this before. I've already run the run. So what's different? Well, I'm going to show you. So we want chmod plus x plus x. And then DaVinci Resolve dot slash DaVinci Resolve, which will then give this run permissions. And what we would now want to do is you want to do dot slash DaVinci Resolve hyphen I. And it's going to say, hey, look, I need all of these packages. Where are they? Now, this is where things start moving in our favor. So what we want to do here is we want to copy all of these right click copy and now we want to do control xe and what this will do is it'll give us a temporary bash output terminal where we can just paste everything in and make this a better format for the terminal to understand so all we do is all we're doing is just backing off backing everything off where it's needed it is it's basically it's basically a much better version of the terminal. It's just a little extra tool for you that you that you may not have known about before now. So we're just gonna back this off until we're here. Go all the way back to the start of the line. And we're gonna type sudo apt stall control XE. Don't change the name. What that's doing is it's just saving it and executing it. And now as we can see here, there's everything we wanted. Go back up. Select the install, select yes, select yes, give it the password it asks us for. As we can see here, DaVinci Resolve is installing, going through the process of getting installed, which is what we want. We've just got to wait for that to finish off. And again, as we can see here, it is asking for authentication again. So we will give it the authentication. As we can see here, it's just doing its post cleanup, making sure everything's all sorted out and installed and ready. And as we can see here, it's done. It says it's done and it's installed in DaVinci Resolve. So now the next thing we want to do is this is mainly aimed at AMD systems because AMD drivers can sometimes be a bit of a pain. So this is how we get around that. First thing we need to do is we need to download and install AMD drivers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to CD back once and start preparing. See here, we have everything we might need. So we're going to start with the downloading of the AMD drivers. Now, I'm going to make a GitHub repository that details all of this so you then don't have to go into the description. And it's just with YouTube being YouTube at the minute, I'm just going to make a description. We'll make a GitHub ready for it. As we can see here, what this is doing is it is requesting the download of drivers from the AMD website for Ubuntu. But bearing in mind, this is Debian. This will work on Debian because... As we all know, Ubuntu is a derivative of Debian. And what we want to do now is just hit enter. And this is going to download all of the drivers that are available for Debian or for Ubuntu. Now, I'll show them all off once it's downloaded. And once it's, once it's downloaded, we can then go from there. But as we can see here, it's no small thing because it's, well, it's downloading more than just a singular driver. I'd be concerned. If it was a driver this size, I'd be thinking I'd be downloading the Intel Arc drivers. If the uh, AMD drivers are that big. But anyway, we have now 
downloaded the drivers. It only took us 30 seconds, which is not too bad. We now want to extract the driver. So to do that, we type the following. In this case, it is tar space hyphen XJPF AMD Pro AMD GPU Pro 20.40 dash build number Ubuntu and hit enter. That'll then extract that. We want to do CD hyphen uh, AMD GPU. And as we can see here, we have a load of AMD drivers. Quite a lot of AMD drivers in this case. We have the AMD GPU and we have the AMD Pro. The difference between the AMD GPU and the AMD Pro is one is the open one is the open source, one is the closed source. The Pro drivers are the closed source in this particular case. Now also remember, this is it says it's only going to work for Ubuntu, but bearing in mind, Ubuntu is again a derivative of Debian, so this will work. So once we've now downloaded that and, and we're sat, currently sat in the AMD GPU driver directory, what we want to type out now is dot slash AMD GPU hyphen install hyphen hyphen OpenCL equals legacy hyphen hyphen headless hyphen hyphen no hyphen DKMS and hit enter and what this is now going to do is going to go through and install as we can see here the amd gpu driver is already installed or was not uninstalled correctly that is correct because i have already installed this now all we need to do now is just type davinci resolve and we should have davinci resolve pop up i i'm just going to quickly get this to as we can see here davinci resolve we have a working and functional DaVinci Resolve on a Linux system that is not CentOS, if you can believe it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a new project and I'm going to drag and drop a file in. In this particular case, I wish to drag and drop this file in. Let's actually add it in the correct place. So we want to drag and drop a particular file in. Okay, let's import some media, I guess. Let me just drag that out of the way. So DaVinci Resolve does work. It's just DaVinci Resolve being DaVinci Resolve. So there's not really much I can do. But as we can see here, we have a working and functional DaVinci Resolve downloaded, installed, the whole shebang. It, it's functioning. Now, tell me that isn't amazing. So it works. It's functional. As you can see here, DaVinci Resolve is working, although only slightly because it's trying to export this eight minute clip and a quick export with a just quite an image here and it's trying to tell me it's going to take 36 days because it can't figure itself out this is an expected outcome because sometimes running it with linux is a bit hit and miss but it does work it is working it just doesn't want to work with my system anyway I would like to thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I have been Nick. You have been amazing, and I hope you have a good rest of your day. Goodbye.